Who? Hey, North Korea. You'll have internet over there? Yeah, you'll have internet. What kind of wild country doesn't have internet? I'm sure you'll have Starbucks lined all the way up and down the roads there. Y'all have roads, don't you? Yeah, y'all have roads. And I'm sure at those Starbucks, y'all have free Wi-Fi. Oh, no, it's not password protected or anything. Anyway, I'm here to give you a public service announcement. You ever heard of StarCraft? Oh, no, you haven't? What? That's crazy. What kind of country doesn't know about StarCraft? Really? Okay, anywho, drop a little dime on South Korea here. They love StarCraft. Oh my god, they love it. I've seen TV shows just about how much they love StarCraft. I mean, they love it so much that I'm sure every house in South Korea has a piss jug. Oh, you ask what a piss jug is? A piss jug is when you pee in a milk carton because you game too much. and You don't want to get up from your seat. Hell, I'm sure every house in South Korea has a shit bucket. What's a shit bucket? It's when you game too much and you shit in a bucket because you don't want to get up. Yeah. Oh, well, what does StarCraft have to do with you all? Well, here's that dime I'm going to drop. StarCraft Heart of the Swarm comes out tomorrow. Oh, what's that? Heart of the Swarm's an add-on for StarCraft 2. That's their favorite game. So beginning today for you all, tomorrow for me, every South Korean under the age of 40, male or female, doesn't matter, is going to be playing StarCraft Heart of the Swarm, probably for at least the next five weeks. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm sure the border guards will even be playing it in their offices. Hell, I'm sure half the border guards have already quit so they can play it. That brings me to my next subject. Y'all talk a lot of shit. A lot of shit. I know you all are under new rule now, Mr. Oon, but your papa, ooh, he was the biggest shit talker. And he never backed up anything. Ever. It's weird, isn't it? Usually people talk shit for 20 years, they end up backing it up. He never did. And Mr. Oon, you talked about nuking South Korea last week, didn't you? Hell, and nuking us. Well, today and tomorrow and the next five weeks, that's the best chance you have. I mean, hell, they're not going to expect it. They're probably like, oh no, we're going to get nuked by North Korea. Oh fuck, the new StarCraft comes out. And they completely forgot about your old threat. So how about you stop flexing those muscles and being that, you know, school bully that people hated because he didn't back up shit and whenever anybody stood up to him, he withered. I'm sure y'all got nukes that can reach down there. I know y'all have nukes that can reach down there. I mean, what kind of country doesn't have a missile defense system and nukes that can reach all the way around the world five times over? So I'm sure y'all got that stuff. Now, I know nuking South Korea could have its disadvantages, like, say, China invading you all, Japan invading you all, Russia invading you all, England invading you all, America invading you all, the entire world invading you all. Actually, all those countries I listed above probably won't invade you all. Just bomb the ever-living fuck out of you. Retaliation. Eh, it sucks, I know. But at least, Mr. Oon, while you're buried underneath that rubble, you can poke that one fist out and say, I'm not a pussy. I nuked someone. I'm not like my father. So how about we quit the shit talking and y'all stop being annoying because it's getting redundant. Jesus Christ. Starcraft Heart of the Swarm's out. Get to work. Less shit talking, more nuki nuki. This was a public service announcement by Yaz. See ya.